Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Russellville, Kentucky, where Auditors of America Last Days of Freedom, Jeremetha, was arrested because of a court date that he missed. Well, uh, it just goes to show you, you need to focus on your priorities. Getting your court date straight, getting an actual job rather than auditing. But hey, it's not talking to a brick wall with you. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yes, I can I? Yeah, I just don't Can I have... No. No. Skylar, stay right there. You know, I smell some e-begging coming up here pretty soon. And I'm sure they're going to use their daughter Skylar as a way to get that uh, money that they need to bail him out. What a crying ass shame that she would get used that way. I mean, these guys have no, no morals whatsoever. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm yeah. trying to block her. Yeah, so, I just want I'm, to. Come here, baby. I'm just trying to block. Well, I'm just trying to. Am I in trouble? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Can I ask why? So is it? I mean, it's Kentucky. Yeah, it's in Kentucky. It's actually. Why? Oh, it is in the extradition order that they would extradite. Can I take your wallet? Can I? Can I have his wallet and stuff? You can, can have I whatever it? he wants to give take you. It. It's just I take the lighters. He want to bond out. You know. Oh what I mean? yeah, yeah. Can I you take your phone? Right? Yeah, I want to keep my phone. You want to keep it? You want to keep your keys? No, you know. No, no, she needs them. I need the you keys the and the wallet. Yeah, wallet. she can have my wallet. Do you want to keep your phone? Do you want me to have it? Huh? Do you want me to have your phone to try to help you, or do you want to keep your phone? You can't use it in jail anyway. You got numbers here. Oh, I, right. Right. Well, last I know, but I need numbers. Okay, let me to be take your keys. Right you said take your keys, right? Uh, can you loosen that love cuff a little? Uh, when we get to the car, uh, not while okay, we're so, over here by Can I ask? So you're taking your phone, right? Yes, I take. So the orders. The I love you. Oh my God. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So. Come here. In, in the Come here. That warrant, it says they'll extradite out of Montgomery. Yeah, this way, so Come here, baby. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Well, I know. I, come, here, come here. Okay. I, I know that. Okay. We knew he had one in Kentucky. He was support day. So, like, we knew that. But I didn't think. I didn't think you could. I didn't think. Sorry, Kentucky or whatever. I didn't think you could. I could Kentucky could take you from Tennessee or so, whatsoever. Or did it change? And there lies the problem with a lot of frauditors. They think that uh, everything is set in this particular path, but, but in reality, it's the other path, and they don't even bother looking at the actual facts. They just read what somebody else says about it and go with it, and don't even bother to do their research, which Jeremetha has never done to begin with. So that's really on you two for uh, not bothering to do your research on anything, and uh, it came back to bite you in the ass. So, yeah. You're morons. The way it's been the last few years, at least, is they can they can extradite out of state to, and usually they'll do it for like a certain mile radius. Okay. And since we're so close to Kentucky, yeah, just technically, because you know I can walk. Right, right. I mean, we live in a circle. It's 10 feet from Kentucky. I mean, yeah, and so I understand that, but because it's so close, they will. They will let you out of Montgomery County, like Robertson, like the surrounding <laughs> agencies, basically. So what will happen is okay, because okay. the warrant is out of Kentucky, he will be booked on his warrant, and he gets what's called a fugitive from justice charge. Now, because he's in another state. Because right? he's in another state, and that goes he, away though, right? Once you get if, booked, if, is that right? If he signs the extradition paperwork. There's three documents. It's just three copies of the exact right. same thing. Saying, as long as he agrees to go to Kentucky, yes. then he loses the fugitive from justice. Yeah, they'll, they'll, have a, they'll have like a hearing sometime tomorrow. And him... When did I get out of jail? Six months ago? I mean, yeah, so that's what... I'm... So essentially that fugitive from justice just sets like a bond that's high enough that like most people can't bond out. Right. Like, unless you're obscenely rich, which this is Clark's phone. No, no, here is obscenely yeah, rich. That it makes it so unfair. I mean, and I, and I, I guess it's just a guarantee that he goes and faces whatever charge. Right. He so he'll go to Montgomery County for a couple of days or a day or whatever. He'll, and then he'll, he'll probably go until sometime either tomorrow or Tuesday. And then they'll swap him. Yeah, they'll pick him up. They'll set him a new court date and say, hey, make sure you show up. 
have a sticker. I don't have any stickers right now, but I can. If you're gonna be here a while, I can try and find one, bring one to you. Yeah, okay. See, because I mean, like, so we found out. We, I mean, I'm just be honest. We knew a couple months ago that he missed the court. Well, because we thought he had court, so we called to find out what type of court was, and they said he missed the court. So I've been waiting on a settlement. I got ran over by a car walking on the sidewalk. That's some point. Wait on this check so that we can take him and bond him out on our own. But we see you all all the time. You know we do. <laughs> we see an officer. I yeah, mean, someone all, usually calls about you guys because every you're, day. you're on the side of the road. Right, but I'm just saying, so we see you all the time and nobody has ever said it's, to take him. And I mean, a, lot of the, a lot of the time it's because we didn't know he had a warrant. It's right. in Kentucky. And oftentimes... Like, so you, 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 both, it, right? you both know your rights, and you know, right. like if you haven't broken any laws, we don't suspect you have. Right. Then now, we can't we can't, we can't demand an ID to right. run you for warrants. And you try to leave us alone for the most part. Yeah. I will say that I will. I mean, I will say most officers. I'm I'm I would say most officers in Clarksville, y'all have all been very nice. I mean, y'all could push. What? What do you say? They, they may come get oh, him tomorrow. Morning. Oh, chili. Okay. Wait a second. After everything Chili did to you the last time, you're still going to trust him to do some e-begging for you? I mean, this is ridiculous, dude. But hey, if you want to go ahead and invite that scam artist to help you out, well, I suppose birds of a feather flock together. So two scam artists trying to scam each other out of a bunch of money. Uh, par for the course with those two. Okay, I will. I love you. Uh, yeah, cause, I mean, I'm, I know that a lot of y'all could push more things on us than you do with our daughter and none of y'all. That, that's, with your daughter, that's a, that's a little bit of a headache. We don't want to, we don't want to take a kid from we don't somebody poke, if you don't have to. We don't want to poke that there. And I'm very thankful because not and, all cops think that way. And for the most part, like y'all do, y'all sit on the side of the road and you, you know the rules and you follow them. I think the, the most interaction that we've had with y'all is it's someone like says, hey, it's kind of hot out. You guys are out right. here and you have her with you. Right. But we check on you. You got a cooler and you got water. And I always have food. I always have whatever. Uh, oh, my gosh. For Is Lyrica's? Yeah. Are they on? you have a bottle for it? I don't have a bottle for it. I, mean, I have a bottle for it. I just don't have it with me. Yeah, she, yes, they're his Lyrica's. There's this big one. I just don't have the bottle with me. Okay. At home, honestly, because his mom's there, so I try not to bring a bunch of medicine with us. Yeah, well, it, to be smart, it can't be out in the open. Like right, it has to I be didn't in the realize that he had any on there. Okay, is it scheduled? Uh, it's a pre gabalin it's a I schedule so. two. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's, but a, I'm not gonna... it's not a narcotic, it's a controlled, it's for his fibromyalgia. I think I might. I mean, I can even show you a picture. Well, that's pretty much the end of the video right there, everybody. I mean, Jeremetha thinks that uh, Chili's going to come over here and help him. Oh, sure, he's going to jump on that as soon as he realizes he can uh, present himself with another grifting opportunity. Yeah, he's going to come on down and scam everybody that he can, uh, which is his typical BS. I mean, how does he not remember the last time that he called for... Uh, Chili's help, and he got screwed over on that. Oh, well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.